What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a staple water type from Generation 4. We got ourselves a Swift Swim Fortsal team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to rain teams and Fortsal, Fortsal is definitely underappreciated. Like this Pokemon just doesn't see a lot of loving. And I don't know why. I love this Pokemon so much. I love otters, and I'm pretty sure it's an otter, right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But this Pokemon, great on rain teams, really fast due to Swift Swim, and also hits like an absolute truck due to a solid physical attacking set. This Floatzel right here is holding the Mystic Water Ed's item. It's got the Grass Tire type, then it's got Ice Spinner, Wave Crash Protect, and Aqua Jet, giving it first turn priority, big time stab damage, and a way of taking out terrains, which is phenomenal in this format. Now, two other Pokemon that go together with Floatzel on the Rain Squad is going to be Pelipper and Overquill. Overquill has Swift Swim just like Floatzel and can do some big time damage. Pelipper is obviously going to be the Rain Setter and it also has Tailwind and Wyguard. Then our final three Pokemon are going to be Sneasler, Ndidi, and Gudra. Gudra, great on the defense boost and body presses. And then Sneasler, Ndidi with the Psychic Seeds. You guys already know that combo, Unburden, all that good stuff. Just a solid squad all around. Cannot wait to use it. You guys want to code for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video at any time, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Swift Swim Floatzel. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we're going up against a squad with no weather control, which could actually be very beneficial to us. But they do have Screen Scrimsnarl. That is something that we're going to have to watch out for. Now, one thing I do notice with this team is a lot of physical attackers. So if I can honestly set up Gudra here with a few shelter boosts, this could be really good for us. So I'm going to go into Gudra here and look to get set up early on here. So Gudra's going to come out here for our lead. I could honestly just go into Ndidi just for terrain and for follow me purposes and i think that's gonna be my play so i'm gonna go gudra i am gonna go in dd and try to set up and then i'm just gonna go pelper alongside with floatzel here because i like floatzel especially with ice spinner super effective onto the chestnut onto the uh onto the dragapult onto the rillaboom and then it's got his water moves to deal with pretty much all, all the other pokemon so i'm cool with this i think gudra's gonna be the star of the show this match so i want to lead it i want to try to shelter boost up and i really want to get after this match so We'll see who they want to lead. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be Grimstraw and maybe a fake out user, which is kind of why I want to lead NDD. Now, if they do go Rollaboom, I'm really hoping NDD is a tad bit slower just so we get off terrain and we don't have to worry about fake out. Because again, we, we're trying to set up these shelter boosts up against these very strong physical attackers. So that's the plan here. Shelter, shelter, shelter. Follow me, follow me, follow me. And they're going to go Sneasler and Dragapult here. So honestly, I could just go into a Fairy Terra type and just sacrifice my NDD here. Which would probably be our best bet. Yeah. We're going to go Fairy Terra. And we're just going to go Shelter. I could pop a Trick Room. I could definitely try to pop a Trick Room. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to pop a Trick Room if I can. These guys are too fast. I mean, I do have Pelipper and Floatzel in the back end. But honestly... Do I want the Trick Room? Thing is, if I Terrasilize Fairy, the only problem here is going to be Dragon Darts. I'm going to try to pop a Trick Room if I can. If I can, I I'd love to. I I honestly love to. I feel like we can slow the pace down for our forward to late game and just get after this match. But I'm going for Shelter, so I, I just think it's our best play. Shelter, Terra, if I can pop a Trick Room, I, if I can. I, I, don't know if, I don't know if we're going to be able to. But the problem with Terrasilizing Fairy and this thing going for Dragon Darts, which it doesn't, which is great. Is I was gonna say it, that just doubling down into that next slot, but we end up going into a fairy terror. I gotta watch out for dire claw, which is my main problem now. And I would think you want to go for close combat into my Gudra. That'd be the only thing. He's gonna send out Robum, so he's just gonna take out terrain. He can fake out next turn. I could always protect next turn. Well, let's see what Sneasel wants to do here. Are you doubling down into Indeedy? And the grassy seed boost. Luckily, hopefully we're popping trick room. Go for close combat into my Gudra. That'd be real nice. He's gonna go for a taunt. Oh no! Not what we want it. Definitely not what we want it. But luckily we get off Trick Room though. So we're gonna be able to outspeed these guys for a little bit. Um Trick Room flies, no shelter. That really hurts. That really hurts. From here, I guess there's heavy slamming. And we out I'm gonna outweigh you a lot, so I'm gonna do that and you know, you're honestly just going to fake out my Gudra here. I might just swap it. Get out Pelper. Yeah, let's get out Pelper. We'll get out Pelper here. Hmm, and DD will then go for... I just Dazzle Gleam, just like to chip up some damage. 
I think Palpo can honestly get some work done, especially in this rain with its stab hurricane ready to roll. A lot of damage on a lot of different Pokemon, but I'm hoping I can kind of just like chip up this uh, Sneasler just in case it's Focus Ash. The Drizzle comes out here. We'll get the rain rolling. Grass guy gun launch. That's just going to KO and DD. No big deal. Whatever. Rocky Helmet did damage onto him, onto the uh, Dragapult. I'll take it. And we pop the Trick Room. That's not bad for us. Not bad. Dire Claw going, going to launch. And we're going to be able to soak this. So cool. Now, Pelper, I'm really hoping that this thing's not Focus Ash. Because I, I, if it's not Focus Ash, I could honestly just... Oh, no. It's not Focus Ash. What am I thinking? It's Grassy Seeds. I don't know why I'm thinking it's Focus Ash. That's just dumb play. But what I could do from here is just go into a Hurricane, take out you, because we have Trick Room up, and now set up the Shelter, because you can't taunt me. Well, you can taunt me, but you're not going to be... You're not going to be slower than my Pelipper. And of course, you're going to Terrasalize here. Please be the Roll Boom. It's the Sneasler. Good call. Interstellar. Hold up. Interstellar. This is actually really good for us. Pelper, I just need you to KO with this Hurricane. I think you can. I think you got it, Pelper. Grass Guy's going to launch. You soak it all day? Come on, Pelper. It's my dog. We get off Shelter. We're rolling here. We're rolling here. And Pelper's launching Hurricane. KO? That's all I need from you. That's all I need from you, Pelipper. That's a big time turn, especially because they did waste Terra as well. So we're picking up the KO there. We just have to waste out some Trick Room turns now. That's really where I'm at, is waste out Trick Room turns. If I can waste out some Trick Room turns, oh baby. Oh baby. Because the Cinnamon's going to come out here. He's going to want to fake out the Gudra. I mean, we don't have double protect, which is a slight issue. And I mean, you're probably going to grass guy down my Pelipper. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We got two. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, if I can get off a Hurricane, I'm going to send it this way. And if I can get off a Shelter, I'm going to go for it. I mean, if you fake me out, you fake me out. Whatever. I got left there just to get back HP. Like, you're, you're not going to... It's not going to be anything crazy. I love our typing here with Gudra with the Fairy. Really good up against these Pokemon that, they, that he has left. Um, Body Press is, uh, is good up against everybody except for the Dragapult. But he's just going to end up faking out and doing the Grass Guy, which, is, which was a smart play. So now I can bring out Floatzel. I can simply just, like, protect here and start chunking up some damage with Body Press. But the problem here is Floatzel's kind of just like a, a decoy at this point. Like, if we're going to win this match, it's going to be all Gudra. Floatzel's just a decoy. Because they're just going to Grass Glide me. I mean, I could go for Aqua Jet and do as much damage as I possibly can. But Robin would go first. There's still Trick Room up. I'm going to protect you. So I'm going to protect Floatzel, and I'm just going to go for a Shelter. He's going to knock off my item, but still. I want these Defense Boosts. I want these Defense Boosts bad. He can go plus four. We want plus four here. Grass Guy going to launch. Yeah, I'll Aqua Jet next turn. I just think... Because I was thinking about it. You're actually faster... Or he's actually faster than me right now in Trick Room. So if I would have went for Aqua Jet this turn, his Grass Guy would have been faster, and it would just take me out. But there's a knockoff. He is going to take off the item. We are soaking rather well. Still got Grass Train, which is good for us. And I'm going to start going after this Rillaboom. So there's that. Grass is gone. You actually, it's actually perfect because I can just go for a Wave Crash here. And then just Body Press this Rillaboom. Wow, Terrain ending at the perfect time. So I'm going to go for Wave Crash. I'm going to go for Body Press. Terrain ending at the perfect time. That is huge. And I wonder if he's going to swap somebody for Dragapult here. There's definitely a chance. There's definitely a chance. And he doesn't. So Wave Crash is going to fly. We're going to say bye-bye to Incineroar. Get it on out. My face floats will doing some big-time damage. And Body Press should be able to do respectable damage here. Body Press, how much damage could you possibly do? Wood Hammer launches. That's fine. Body Press, I mean, we're plus four in defense, which is huge. And we're fairy type, so we can't pull out the... The nice little choice band Dragapult kind of play. Or the choice band, what is it even called? Dragon Darts play. Terrain's gone. Few Pokemon left. No terrain. I think I had to target down this Dragapult at this point. With, what is it called? Heavy Slam. That's <laughs> what we gotta do. So I'm just gonna go Heavy Slam into you. Just keep sending it. You could go for Phantom Force. You do. Mm, should, we should have taken out this uh, Rillaboom. We'll take out the Roboom next turn, because we know this thing is, uh... We know this thing's Choice Band. We know it's Choice Band. So I'll send this next shot into Dragapult, and then I'll take out Roboom the turn after. So we'll do this. 
And of course, gonna fly. And how much damage is done? Actually, does decent damage. It actually does decent damage. There goes high horsepower. We're soaking. And heavy slam launch. And how much damage is done? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. So we know what he wants to go for here. We're gonna switch this over into the Roboom slot. He's gonna go for Phantom Force. Yep. And from your high horsepower launches, we soak that. And we go for a body press. Cool. So Rillaboom gone. Now we can go for another heavy slam. And as long as he doesn't crit, I have a weird feeling he's gonna crit. We should be fine. I'm hoping this heavy slam could just KO. But Phantom Force flies here. We're able to soak. We could definitely soak another one. And can we just KO and end it here? Heavy slam flies. And there it is. We get the crit. We were going to win that one regardless. He was going to fan force. I was just going to shelter up again. GG's. I told you guys, Hisumi and Gujar was the right play for this matchup. Moving on to our second match, and your boy is off to a hot start. Starting off 1-0, going up against now a Don Dozo team with Sneasler, with Rillaboom. So they got the Sneasler seed combo with Rillaboom, so grassy seeds, all that good stuff. They also have got Volcarona. They got, what is that Pokemon? Dragapult, and then Electabuzz. Now, we could go into our own Sneasler combo if we want to. It's honestly not a bad lead. Or we can go straight into Weather. I feel like Weather could honestly work really well, especially with Overquill as our lead. And I'm thinking I want to do that. So I'm going to go into Pelipper. I am going to go into Overquill. I will go Floatzel here. And last but not least, I think Indeedy could be the call here. Or would I rather go into like Sneeze of my own? But I mean, we couldn't pop seeds at that point. I could just go into my Shelter Boosted. Gudra. This works well. This definitely works well. But do I want to take away terrain? You know, yeah, we're gonna go Gujra here. I feel like Gujra just like could just clutch up, especially if like late game we go up against like a bulky physical attacker such as Don Dozo, or if they're choosing to like Dragon Darts, we could just like Terrasalize into Fairy and kind of bypass a lot of that. So I'm cool with this. I'm cool with going into Overquill. I know Dragonbolt's super fast. They could go into Sneasler and Rillaboom, which would be a little tough news for us. We'll figure it out as we play. We're sitting one and zero. So so far so good. So far, so good. Let's see who they want to lead. Dragapult and Electabuzz. So, obviously, they can go for Follow Me. Um, could go for Dragon Darts. Could go for Volt Switch Pivoting. Electric Move could be terrifying here. I got Dark Terror type. Um, would Wide Guard protect us from Dragon Darts? I'm actually not sure, and I don't want to risk it. I know you want to go for dra uh, Dragon Darts and Volt Switch, but Throw Chop's just going to come out here and dump on Dragapult. I was going to say, you're probably looking at my Pelipper like, hey, I want to go for like a Volt Switch or something. So you're not going to go for Follow Me. I'm just going to take this free KO on this Dragapult. So I will take that trade all day. I'll take that. That's a free trade. I, like That's a win trade for me. Getting rid of Dragapult for Pelipper and Rain Set, and now I just get out the two Swift Swimmers. Oh, yeah. I'm so bad. I know you got a lot of electric. I mean... I know you got Electric type on the field, but I'm ready to Thrasselize my Fortzel. Grass Terror, we're ready to roll. We are ready to roll. We are so ready to roll. So I'm going to Grass Terror here. Um, I'm going to send a Wave Crash in this slot. With the Grass Terror, I could also just start throwing Gunk Shots. I could go for Throw Chop. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna test my luck here. I know Throw Chop's good, but I'm going to test my luck with a nice little Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot does so much damage with... Uh, with Overquill. But I'll take that trade all day. Pelipper got out the rain. It did something. And I throw Chop ended up picking up the KO. I mean, I didn't really need Pelipper too much after that. But nice little grass started coming out from our lovely little Floatzel. We'll see how they want to play this one. Wave Crash going to launch. Maybe probably didn't even have to Terrasalize. Because, yeah, Wave Crash is just KOing. In the rain, Electabuzz gone. So honestly, we didn't really have to Terrasalize. Can, can we land his Gunk Shot? We do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's good damage. Give it to me. Let's go. Give me the poison, baby. Give me the poison. That's a big, big time Pokemon the poison as well. Don Dozo. The great Pokemon the poison. Wave Crash gonna fly on his end, and we end up surviving that, which is great. So he's taking some recoil. He's taking a nice little gunk shot. We got a berry triggering. We got everything working on our side right now. Plus, we got rain and two swift swim Pokemon on field. So he's gonna leftovers up. Poison's gonna negate that. That is perfect. That is a great poison over Quill. Big fan of you. Big fan of you, Overquill. 
big fan of that play. So Floatzel doing massive amounts of damage. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. And it's going to be Rillaboom. So Terrain's going to come out here. Um, I can just destroy Terrain, to be honest with you. I think that's going to be my play, just to take out Terrain. Because honestly, they're looking at my Overquill like this is the big threat. So I'm just going to protect Overquill. I think they want to fake out Overquill. And then just attack it. I really do think that's their play. So I'm just going to protect Overquill. They're looking at Overquill like this is the main culprit. This is who they want to get rid of. There's the protect. Fake out is honestly going into the Floatzel slot. Don't double down the Floatzel. This could be a rough turn. They do. Oh my lord. That really hurts. Alright. Wow. That's a rough turn. I still got Gujra, which is good. Two physical attackers. And I mean, I'm sitting on the field with Overquill right now. Now, if Overquill can just land a gunk shot into Rillaboom, I mean, that KOs. And I can start boosting my defense at the same time. So I think that's really good for us. Actually, did I even bring Gudra? I think I did. Yeah, no, I brought Gudra. Yeah, so I could just start shelter boosting here. And try to wrap up this game. Got a few turns left in rain. I think we have one, maybe two. Maybe two. Let's see, what we got? We got two. That's good. I mean, shelter boost is definitely going to be our friend. So we're going to shelter up. Um, they haven't used Terra yet, correct? Yeah, so now would be the time that they use Terra. I think we just actually attack this thing. Because Rillaboom honestly not that big of a threat. It really isn't. I mean, I know it could Grassy Glide. But I would predict the Rillaboom Thrash slides in order to Dondoza, right? Yeah, so good thing I didn't throw Gunk Shot in that slot. We're just going for Throat Chop. And he's going to gonna go into a Fire Terra, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. Like I said, if I can just get off this, these Shelter Boosts, my Goo just should really be thriving out here. But Throat Chop flies, puts it on... Red HP. Wood Hammer gonna fly. Overquill survives that. Oh my god, I love you, Overquill. It's a big time survival there. Shelter's gonna come out here before Don Dozo even goes. And if I had to guess, Don Dozo probably going after Gudra here. Oh, you got Fisher. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. He has got to go. Get him out of here. 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 He's gotta go. He's got to go. That's the only Pokemon KO in my, uh, KO in my Gujra. Fisher coming out here. I used Fisher in the uh, last video. Did not land any, though. But, I mean, good thing Gujra outspeeds. I can just go for body pressing that slot. And he's obviously wants to go for a grassy guard here. So, I'm just going to protect. Play it slow. And I'm going to get rid of this Dondozo. Gotta get rid of this Dondozo. You going for grassy guard, right? Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, let me let me read one move. I haven't been able to read our opponent this this game. The Grass Guy's going to get blocked. Body Press going to fly. Don, those are gone. And that pretty much wraps up this game. That pretty much wraps up the match. You just should just be able to Body Press through and just keep going, going, going. Rillaboom can't really do that much damage anymore. Cool. Awesome. Dope. So, Body Press away. We will throw a nice little Throat Chop in here as well. I think they just cancel. Yep, they do just cancel. So 2-0. Oh, we're killing it with this squad so far. Final match on its way. And can we pull off the perfect record with this Floatzel team? I sure hope so. We're 2-0. Oh, we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record going up against another Dragapult. A lot of Dragapults today. And then they got Archaludon. They also have Incineroar. They got Blastoise, who you love to see. And then they got Rollboom and Pelipper. So only weather control they have is going to be Rain. And we already got that. So we can really just thrive out with that. Do I lead the Rain squad, though? Because they could lead, uh, Rillaboom. We could honestly just go into our Grassy Seeds. Or not Grassy Seeds, our Psychic Seeds, which, honestly, I kind of like. But if they lead Incineroar, things get a little chippy. Hmm. They're just going to, yeah, they're going to they're gonna lead Incineroar, I think. I don't know. I think it's always a risk. You know, we're going to go in DD Sneeze. Let's try to pull that off. If they go Incineroar, they go Incineroar. It is what it is. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring... Did I even bring my weather Pokemon? I kind of just want to go Floatzel Overquill, but I think we need Pelipper. I'm going to go Pelipper here, and last but not least, let's go Floatzel to end off today's video. Let's do it. 2-0. Looking for that perfect record. Love to get it. We'd love to get it for you guys, especially with Floatzel, because I absolutely love Floatzel. I feel like any time I played, like, Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum, I feel like Floatzel's normally on my team. Unless I'm taking Pit Pop and Empoleon, then Floatzel, obviously. Not on team. We already got our water type. But for the most part, I usually take Torterra. I just love Torterra, and I love Turtwig especially. And I usually rock Floatzel alongside of it. 
That's usually my play. The Blast Lady's gonna come out here with Paloops. And kind of annoys me because I didn't have to bring my Pelipper. But I brought it just in case. The second Surge comes out here. You could be going for Shell Smash. You could be going for Tailwind. So you got a few different options here. Um, I could just follow me. You could be going for... Hmm, are you gonna go for Shell Smash? I don't know. But yeah, we're just gonna do this. And I am just gonna go for follow me because I really don't want my Sneasler taking a big time hurricane that just wouldn't be good i could see a tailwind pop out here even if you do tailwind i think my sneezer could still outspeed which is beautiful unburdened sneezer is just insanely strong in this format can't go wrong with it but we're gonna go for follow me we're just gonna dire claw into this blastoise it seems like blastoise is just like the main threat but they're getting terrestrialize here turn one he got paloops getting terror type going into ghosts so maybe you think i'm faking out that's not my play i'm straight up attacking the Ghost Terror type comes out here. I got Shadow Call to do some damage to you. You protect Blastoids. All right, I see Blastoids. I understand. That's Pelper setting up a Tailwind, most likely. Most likely, that seems like what he wants to do. Dire Claw gonna get blocked. It's Pelper using his Ghost Terror, setting up Tailwind. Yipper. Tailwind out and about. All right. So, again, I'm really hoping my Caesar can just simply outspeed. I mean, it's normally a fast Pokemon, but now with Unburden, yeah, it, it should be outspeeding still. So, should I still go for Dire Claw? Or should I rip up? I think we gotta go for Dire Claw. I think we gotta do as much damage as we can into that slot. So I'm gonna do that, and honestly, I'm just gonna pop a Trick Room. I mean, you wanna, you wanna get off the tailwind? We're just gonna pop a Trick Room. So, Dire Claw launches. Give me a Sleepy. Oh, we get a Sleepy. I just said it. I just said it for the heck of it. We do get a Sleepy. That's actually huge. We get a Sleep Skis. That is massive. That is huge. Hurricane's gonna launch just KO us. All right, it is what it is. Actually, we survive. Beautiful. Thank you, Sneasler. All right, I'll take that though. I got. I got to take that confusion. I can't complain about that one. <laughs> I can't. So Trick Room flies out here. I cannot complain about that one. And Rain Dish gonna fly out here from Blast Lights. All right, it is what it is. And now from here, honestly, let's just Shadow Call this Pelper and just go for Follow Me. Of course, Blastoise wakes up. You protecting Blastoise? All right, that's fine. The Blastoise one turn sleep. That that's fair. Watch, I my uh, dude. I already know what's happening. My sneeze is gonna hit itself in confusion and KO itself. They're gonna have a one turn sleep. This is where my RNG gets annoying. Hurricane connecting into Ndidi. Doing about half. Sneezler, I need you. Just one turn. One more turn. Come on, Sneezler. What did I say? What did I say? RNG was fair for a second there. You get a one turn sleep, I die out. I, I lose my confusion. All right, now we're sitting in a rough position. I mean, obviously I can just go into Pelipper. I mean, we're a bit faster here, which is good news. We're a bit faster. I could launch a Weather Ball and get rid of Pelipper. I mean, Blast is kind of sitting on the field being rather annoying. But I think just Weather Ball is going to be our play into this Pelipper. And we're honestly just going to double down with this Assassin Lean. Let's see what they want to do here. One turn sleep from Blastoise. Gotta love it. And then hit myself in confusion. Typical Jeans Pokemon, man. <laughs> Come on with that. Alright, so Weather Ball does really good damage, especially in the rain. We're gonna send it into this Pelipper slot rather than Hurricane. Get that rain boost going. And Pelipper's just gonna protect. Oh, man. It's a great protect. That's a great protect. And Blastoise, what you got cooking here? You're gonna take out my Ndidi? More than likely. More than likely, you're going to take out Ndidi here. At least Ndidi's going to get off the Dazzle Gleam right here. How much damage are we doing in the Blastoids? Six. Seven. <laughs> and he's going to Hydro Pump, which connects. Yeah, you're gone. Hydro Pump looks so dope. I love how they added that animation for Blastoids. So yeah, this match, not going good for us. Not going good at all. Not going good at all. Blastoids probably wants to protect here, let's be honest. Blastoids probably wants to protect. We still have Trick Room in effect. And Floodsoul, how many turns are left in Trick Room? Because I can protect and waste out hopefully the last one. There might be two. There's two. You know, since I think Blastoise is protecting here, I think I'm just going to attack this turn. And I think I'm just going to go for... Is that Wave Crash just sitting down? This Wave Crash can do some damage. No, honestly, we're just going to double down into this Pelper. Actually, we can't go for Aqua Jet. I don't remember that. We're just going to get rid of this train. He ends up withdrawing Pelipper. So Pelipper with the withdrawal. He's got a Weather Ball and an Ice Spinner flying in this slot. It's going to be Arch on Such a good swap, man. This opponent's just outplaying us. Nothing, nothing I can really say about it. 
We did read the blast switch protect though, which is honestly pretty solid for us. And rain's gonna end too, which really sucks. The weather ball gonna do negative six damage. Actually, that did a decent amount of damage. And stamina gonna boost up. This thing's gonna be an absolute bulk now. Yeah, dude, we stand no chance here. We just have to hope we don't get s swept here. So we're gonna double down to this blast suit slot. Blast suit's gotta go. So there's that. Rain's gonna stop. Everything's stopping. And if I can land a hurricane, we're, we, we gotta go for hurricane. We do have terror type here. We're gonna send a dark terror. Dark Terror will protect our Floatzel, because Floatzel will probably be fast on the floor. And there's one turn left in Trick Room. This match is pretty much over. I'm just hoping I, I don't get swept here. That's really where I'm at. We have Because I have two rules on the channel. We don't go 0-3, and we don't get swept. If one of those happens, I have to delete my channel. Just the rules. Just the rules. So we're trying not to get swept here. I'm legit playing this match. Trying not to get swept here. And I'm protecting the Floatzel. So Floatzel... Getting after it. Hurricane is going to connect. Can we just KO make things simple? One hurts. We get ducks, though. Can you KO yourself in confusion now? That's the real question. Electro shot's going to fly. One of the reasons why I terrestrialize my, uh, my Pelipper here. Hopefully, you can soak it up. Or hopefully, it just goes into Floatzel. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Power Herb going to come out here. And he is going to go after Floatzel. That's big time. That's big time for us. So, Ducks, can you pick up a KO? Go ahead, Ducks. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Man, I hate this game. So, back to normal here. He probably wants to try to body press me. Could get real rough. I mean, I could go for Weather Ball here. But I'm just going to go for Tailwind instead. I'll go for an Ice Spinner. I, dude, I know he's going to what's called. I know he's going to protect this up, this Blastoids, but we're not KOing Sarge Ludon. You don't. Cool. So we don't get swept. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Honestly, we might... Eh, do we? I don't think we have a shot here. Unless they bring back out their Pelipper. Maybe. But, I mean, you just body press and KO my Pelipper all day. You're just going to drink a Meteor instead. All right, that works. Yep, that's game. That's game. So we don't get swept. Like I said, our opponent just outplayed us here. Absolutely kicked their teeth and no sugarcoating it. I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. Not gonna sit here and make excuses. They absolutely just tore us up. Great reads on us, great plays, great choosing of the Pokemon. But we don't get swept and we go two and one for today's video. What more can you guys ask for? I'm gonna end up running this match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna put that third and final match in the past. And we're just gonna focus on the first two matches today. We went two and one for today's video. Played this team actually really well. I mean, Floatzel was absolutely amazing, doing big time damage with Wave Crash, taking out some terrains with Ice Spinner, all that good stuff. Gudra, phenomenal. You set up Shelter Boost. This thing is a tough customer to get off the field. Then Overquill, Pelipper, and Didi and Sneasler, all doing their job, all doing great. Again, we go two and one and we grab ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.